Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this kind of fall, wintry type of makeup look. Um, the kind of main um, inspiration behind this look is this little single shadow from L'Oreal. This is in Pan Au Chocolat and it is the most beautiful kind of like taupey purple brown shade and it's what I have all over my lids. So if you would like to see how I got this look, let's jump into it. All right, so I have a white strip on my teeth. I'm just wanting to point that out. And I'm going to start off by priming my face using Vichy's Mineral 89 and just patting that into the skin. And then for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Lancome Tint Ultra Idol. Got a little bit in my hair, which is just classic me. And then I'm pouncing that into my skin using a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the Dermablend Quick Fix Concealer and I'm really just showing all of these steps super quick here because these are all of the same products that I've been using lately so you guys have seen these a few times now. And again using the Beauty Blender before I go in with some setting powder, I'm using the NYX uh, Banana Powder for underneath my eyes and then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder for the rest of my face. Using my favorite Lancome bronzer, I am just going to be bronzing up my face a little bit as per usual. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Plum. I absolutely love this little guy. It is perfect for this time of year. It has a nice kind of mauvey undertone. And then I'm also going to be using my favorite highlighter, the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter in Sparkling Peach. To fill in my brows, I'm taking the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Brow Pencil, I believe it's called. Um, and yeah, just quickly filling in my brows just the usual way. Nothing too exciting over here, guys, just being honest. Um, and then for my eyes, I'm taking this NYX, Ult NYX Ultimate Palette. This is the Warm Neutrals. And I'm taking this um, middle shade right here um, as a transition shade on a big fluffy brush. I love this shade as a transition color. It's super... I don't know it's like it's not overly warm but it's not cool toned it works really nicely for my skin tone and then using this more warm orangey color I am using that same fluffy brush but I'm focusing this lower on the eye I'm actually thinking of placing this almost directly on my eyelid on the outer area though and then buffing upwards This warm maroony brown shade in between those two shades we've already used is one of my favorites in the palette. And I'm just putting that on the outer V of my eye. It really adds this beautiful, almost like plum effect to the eye. And I just love it. I really like this shade. And I like the way that these shades look together. And then mixing the two first brown shades that we worked with, I am just putting those on my lower lash line just to give a nice cohesive look to the entire eye before we go in with the best part, the little star of the show. This is um, a single L'Oreal shadow, a color reshadow I think it's called. Um, this is in the shade Pan Au Chocolat and it is just the most beautiful taupey, purpley, uh, chocolatey brown type of shade. I started off by packing it all with my finger and then I switched over to a little brush just to get maximum impact. And I just, I really like this shade. I think it is just stunning mixed together with the warm brown shades. And then I'm just taking a little fluffy brush here and blending out um, where those colors meet just to make sure that it's nice and blended and just all meshes together nicely. Using the vanilla um, highlighting shade from the same palette, I am just putting that on my inner corners and also onto my brow bone. Using the Epic Ink Liner from NYX, I am just creating a thin line on my upper lash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything, but I am extending that line ever so slightly just to elongate the eye a little bit. And I did apply some false lashes. Um, I don't know exactly which ones these are. They're just more of like a natural lash, but I wouldn't recommend them. They were kind of pokey. Um, and then I went in with some lipstick from NYX. This is more of like a pinky nude, 
but I decided I wanted something a little bit more dramatic so I switched over to this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint. This is in Sangria. It is just the most beautiful um, kind of exactly what the name would imply red whiny type of lip shade and that's it guys um, I hope you enjoyed it hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video bye